What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. If you come through and watch the video, be sure to hit the like button, put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop this daily content, bro. And if you want me on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. But without further ado, let's get it popping and let's get into today's video. And today, I got to talk about Earl Spence and Keith Thurman, bro. Mainly Keith Thurman, fam. I've already went over my thoughts on the Earl Spence sparring video. Just to recap it for y'all, I don't take that shit to mean nothing. I take it with a grain of salt. The clip was too short. And sparring is practice. We don't know what that man was working on. We don't know where, what was going on in terms of what he had already done that day. He, You know, champions usually will have multiple training, you know, sparring partners. We don't know how many rounds he had went. And honestly, bro, I didn't see too much of anything, bro. Like, you working on shit. We don't know what Derrick James was telling him and what he was working on, man. So, at the end of the day, you can't take that shit serious. Now, if we see a whole sparring session, then, all right, we can break that shit down, kind of like a fight and shit, and say, oh, this happened, that happened. But a two, three-minute clip, I don't take that shit serious. But there's some people that are. But what I mainly want to talk about is Keith Thurman, bro. I could sit up here and I could read to y'all about how he said Earl Spence was getting pieced up. I can sit up here and I can read to y'all about how Keith Thurman said that that um, Earl Spence. What I, I, I'm I'm just gonna look at it real quick. Oh, that seeing his his sparring partner jump in on like that and piece him up on that basically got Keith Thurman questioning picking Earl Spence in the fight. You know what I'm saying? I could talk about Keith Thurman saying Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao. The press conference didn't really give him nothing. They might as well have been singing. Kumbaya. I could I could go in on all of that shit, right? We could break all that shit down, but let me ask y'all something. Let me take Earl Spence out of it. Let me take Keith Thurman out of it. If I told you that there was a fighter who was once a unified world champion and he was still relatively young and he had fought four times in five years, what type of shit would you be wanting to hear that fighter say? Would you want to hear that fighter talk about an active, unified champion that's been active, that's taking on a legend right now? Would you want to hear what he has to say about that shit? Or would you want to know some shit like, I don't know, bro, who you fighting? Are you going to be active again? Are you in shape? Are you ready? What's next for you? Wouldn't you want to know and talk on shit like that, bro? Because I know that's what I want to know from Keith Thurman. Like, bro, look. You come in on Earl Spence a little too much for me, bro. If you really want to fight him, put yourself in position by building yourself back up, bro. Because you ducked him, fam, for years. You ducked him for years. And now all of a sudden that you running around here and you ain't got no fight, you know what I'm saying, you done lost your luster, Manny Pacquiao beat you up and, 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 and damn near stopped you. You know what I'm saying? When he hurt your ass to the body, he knocked um, Thurman down in the first round. Thurman wasn't really hurt. He was more off balance than anything. But he got damn near stopped to the body the same way that Josecito Lopez almost stopped his ass, bro. You've been inactive as hell. As I said earlier, you done fought four times in five years, bro. As a matter of fact, I can tell you, bro. He fought Sean Porter in 2016, bro. He fought Danny Garcia almost a year later in 2017, bro. Then almost two years later, he fought Jose Cito Lopez at the beginning of 2019. He fought Manny Pacquiao in the summer of 2019. And here it is, he ain't fought again for two years. The man has had four fights in five years. And he got the nerve to be talking about how somebody else looking sparring, bro. Have you even sparred the last two years, Keith? He got the nerve to talk about somebody else's press conference. Can If your press conference so entertaining, can we get one from you, Keith, once upon a time, one time Thurman, bro? Can I get a press conference from you with a fight, bro? Why are you speaking on some shit that you can't seem to do? From 2017 to 2019, you took damn near two years off. Oh, I hit a tree. I got in a wreck. I'm hurt. I'm injured. What? 
And then 2019 to now, you still ain't fought, bro. Can we get you to be active before you start talking shit about other champions? Oh, Manny Pacquiao, him, him and Earl, they just they didn't do it. Listen, bro, both of them, Manny Pacquiao already solidified himself. Duh, eight division world champion, all-time great fighter. Earl Spence is in the process of solidifying himself. How the hell somebody fights Mikey Garcia around the same time that you fought Manny Pacquiao? Then he turns around. He fights Sean Porter. You didn't fight again that year. He gets in a horrific car accident, could lose his life, goes to the hospital, all that shit. You really don't have shit happen to you. He still get back in the ring before your ass. He fights Danny Garcia while you still ain't fought nobody. He beats Danny Garcia. Then now he's about to fight Manny Pacquiao and you still ain't fought nobody. So y'all fight around the same time in the summer of 2019. This man goes, beats Sean Porter, beats Danny Garcia, and then turns around and is about to fight Manny Pacquiao. And you are the one talking shit after ducking this man for years if you keep Thurman, bro. Listen, I just want to know who you fighting. Y'all might say, well, knockout, this is light on light crime, bro. You light skin, he light skin. You supposed to ride with him. I only ride with real shit, bro. And I'm tired of Keith Thurman, bro. Listen, either tell us who you fighting, tell us you're going to be more active, let us know what's popping with you, or just be quiet, bro. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to hear what you got to say about no sparring footage, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear you talking shit about a dude you ducked and a dude that beat you, bro. What that shit sound like, bro? Like, you didn't want to fight Earl Spence, but you talking shit about him. Manny Pacquiao beat you, but you talking shit about their press conference, bro. Nobody's trying to hear that shit. We want to know, bro, are you going to be on the undercard? Are you going to fight this year, or are you going to take three years off? Because it's been over two. You fought July 20th, 2019, bro. It's July 30th, 2021, bro. You done wasted it. Four years, basically, bro. From 2017 to 2019, and from 2019 to right now, bro. You know how much fights you could have had, bro? You know how active you should have been? You know where your career should be, and you got nobody to blame but yourself. So if you keep Thurman, bro, you, you, you got to let us know something. And then furthermore, bro, you didn't have this energy because you was at their press conference. You was very respectful. I even gave you credit for it. Very objective. But then you get in the you get in the, the gym, they start asking you questions, then you wanna throw slugs and shit. You got you got funny stuff to say. Like, bro, I Keith Thurman can miss me, bro. That's why people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot of people that don't really rock with him. It's the personality, bro. It's the personality and the moves that he make. And the stuff that he say, like, bro, I'd rather you just say, listen. I want Spence now. I did avoid the fight. Hindsight being 2020, I shouldn't avoid the fight, but I want all the smoke. And what I'm going to do to get that smoke, I'm going to go ahead, right? And I'm going to, you know, rematch Sean Porter. I'm going to fight Uga. So I'll take on um I'll take on Boots Ennis. You know what I'm saying? I'll take on whoever I need to take on to put myself in position to fight Earl Spence Jr. You got to go with these guys, bro. With Earl Spence Jr., Canelo Alvarez, you got to go get something that he wants. So if you really want smoke like that, bro, go push for the Super WBA fight with Ugas, bro. Go push for that shit. Be like, look, I want to be, I want to be on the co-main event. I want to be, you know, on the undercard, bro. That's what you do if you keep Thurman. This shit right here, it's not gonna do nothing for you, bro. All that you don't get to be the talker that you used to be, bro, and and talk all that shit and annoy people, nigga, because you ain't in a position of power. You ain't in a position of leverage, bro. No one wants to hear what you have to say right now, bro, as it pertains to this situation. Because we don't give a damn about their press conference. We know the fight going to be lit. We don't give a damn about that sparring footage, bro. We know what sparring is for us diehard boxing fans. And you know that shit, too. You just always looking for a way to inject yourself in some shit. When in reality, how about you inject yourself into your own career? <laughs> how about that? How about you put yourself 
in your own career and get your like talk about yourself, bro. How about you get some sparring footage out there to show that you working and you doing shit? How about that, bro? Overall, I don't really care about Keith Thurman. You know what I mean? Until I see him with a fight date, fighting another fight and getting his career back on track, bro, he irrelevant at this point. And he leeching on the Manny Pacquiao. He leeching on the Earl Spence to try to keep himself relevant. When you Keith Thurman, you ain't got to do that. You want to be relevant? Get in the ring and fight somebody, bro. Get in the ring and fight somebody. Until then, bro, stop speaking on other people that's really out here, you know, moving shit around, making moves happen. It's actually getting in the ring, giving the fans what they want to see, while all you're doing is doing interviews and talking shit, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Comment down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. You know what I mean? Hit that notification bell. And don't forget about our live show this upcoming Wednesday. You got knocked the F out. Episode 5 is going to be lit, man. It's going to be lit this Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. And with that, we out here. Peace, y'all.